Hi and welcome to my playhouse and right now I'm about to clean out the filter on the heat pump system because in my playhouse I have a lot of old radiators and a lot of old pipes and there's a lot of dirt in those and to protect the, the, the heat pump there's a filter in front of that and we'll just go and see that in just a second it's right in here this part is a filter and when we take it apart you can kind of see how it functions but uh, very conveniently there's a belt right there and one on the other side of it right there so it's designed so that you can you can turn off this pump. This is the pump that circulates the water from the from the heat pump to the system, to the radiator system. And so I'm gonna turn off the pump and it's right here. And then I'm gonna shut off this and this. And then I can unscrew this cap and inside of it is a metal filter. And We'll do that. I'll just prepare it and I'll get right back to you. Okay, I think I might be ready. I'll try to construct a system that should pick up the water. That's There might be a little bit of water here from the system with some antifreeze in it. It's not much, but uh, I wanted to try to pick it up. Um, so, but let's begin. I'll turn off the pump. That was easily done. And then I'll turn off this valve. Turn it off. And I'll turn off this valve. Oh. And I'll just loosen this. This might work, this might not work at all. It might just be irritating, but I tried it. It kind of worked. I wasn't in ex entirely fast enough. Let's see. Here's the filter. And there is some dirt in it. And I'll just get something to clean that up with. And I'll go wash this. I'll just put it under the faucet and wash it off. Okay, 30 seconds later, the filter, can we see this? It's like a filter with small holes in it, really small holes. And smaller particles are not able to get through that. I'm just gonna check if there's something here. That's not bad. <coughs> It's just some paper towel. Towel. There we go. Now we'll put in the filter. Put it there. And we'll put the cap back on. Just dry off the cap as well. There wasn't really that much dirt in it. 
last year it it cocked up. It, what do you call it? It filled up with dirt, and suddenly the air, the heat pump, uh, came with an error, and I had to go into the manual and found out that the water flow was not correct, and then I had to find out that this was it. So now we'll turn it back on again. There we are. And it's running again, and we can turn on the pump. The was some water and it was actually I think all the dirt it is in here huh oh. on the camera it's all dirt it's too dark in here but this water is really filthy It's okay. It can be brown. It's the, the bigger particles that are, that can do make a lot of problems. <clears throat> so now the air pump is maintained, and right now the air pump is not running very much. This the stove is on. It's burning very nicely in here so I made sure that the temperature was high enough so that the stove would, would be doing all the work so that I wouldn't have the compressor turning on on me when I was changing the filter or cleaning out the filter so that was a little maintenance on that it really looks really dirty in there it's not entirely I have a leak that's it's right around here there's a there's a tiny leak that sends down water and stuff but it's like it's it's like almost nothing so it's like one drop a day or something like that and it's just it's a lot of things to take apart to to stop that leak so I haven't done it yet I should I really should do that but I haven't <laughs> I'll get to that so I think that might be enough about that so thank you for watching and um, do subscribe to my channel and you'll see me again have a nice day.